Today I want to show you how to make the best tuna and sweet corn wrap. Make sure you stay till the end and follow the recipe entirely in order to get the best results. And this is about 300 grams of dry tuna once you drain it. I always try to use tuna chunks instead of minced tuna because it's better quality. Also in spring water instead of oil because the oil most of the times is low quality and it doesn't do any good to the recipe. Now, as mentioned, sweet corn, we're not gonna use obviously the whole thing, probably half will do the job. Now other ingredients that we're gonna be using is like this onion, which we're not gonna use the whole thing, probably half should do the job. Fresh dill, you're not gonna need probably the whole thing, but just add as much as you like. Now, when it comes to seasoning, I've got a few things here going on, like salt and pepper, this is kind of obvious, Cajun spice, this gives a bit of a kick to this whole recipe and smoked paprika. And all you need is just a touch. You don't need to go with the whole lot, but the touch of smokiness will make such a huge difference in this recipe. And obviously because we're making wraps, I've got here a few tortilla wraps ready to go, nothing complicated, shop bought. I also have other ingredients here on the desk, but these are just to get into the wrap once the filling is ready. And in order to get the best results, I would suggest to do your own mayonnaise, which is not that complicated. We've done it several times on this channel. All we need, one egg, which in the end we're using just the egg yolk. We've got here some mustard. I'm also gonna be adding a bit of lemon juice because it works well, lemon and fish, they work well together. And some veg oil, about 150 mils is all you need. And this is your mayo ready. Nothing complicated and a lot better than the one that you buy in the shop. Now let's move on to the rest of the ingredients. And in this situation, I'm going with red onion because I believe that's slightly milder than the white one. And in this situation, we do need some onion flavor in there, but we don't want it to be too strong. Just make sure that you cut it as fine as you can because we want it to blend properly into that mixture of tuna and mayo. I would say that adding dill, it's literally the secret of this whole recipe. Same, just chop it finely and in the bowl it goes. Now we need to check the tuna. If there is any liquid left in there, Try to squeeze it because we don't want any of that. That water doesn't do us any favor. Tuna in. And now we have to add in the mayo. Sweet corn, about half a tin, no more than that. Again, just make sure that you don't get any of that liquid in there. We want it as dry as possible. Yeah, half a tin probably is a bit too much for the amount of tuna I've got here, but I like sweet corn, I'm fine with it. Maybe you want to reduce the amount. We're going in with about a quarter of teaspoon of salt, freshly grounded black pepper, about a quarter of teaspoon, half teaspoon of Cajun spice, and about a quarter of teaspoon of smoked paprika. In my opinion, there is no more mayo needed and the mixture itself is perfectly the way it is, especially when you're adding it into wraps, you don't want it to be too liquid. So when you bite into the wrap, it's going all over the place. Toasting your tortilla wraps before doing anything else is really important. Just wait for a few seconds and see the difference. Now we're talking, let's start rolling. So the first thing we want to do is add the salad right at the bottom. Add the tuna filling, not too much because after that, you're not going to be able to roll it. Few slices of cucumber because they work really well with tuna and some cheddar cheese. And my friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check this recipe right here, Cajun Chicken Wrap.